down. Police say it's still unclear whether the suspect or officers fired the shot that killed the 27-year-old Trader Joe's manager. But officers say the suspect shot his grandmother and fired at them before running into the store. Our John Finolio is there live where residents are leaving flowers, candles, and their condolences. Hi, John. Gordon Rick, good evening to you. That's right, a very somber scene out here. Heavy hearts as this memorial continues to grow for the young woman who lost her life and all those affected by this hostage standoff yesterday. But first, this is how we got here. A high-speed police chase comes to a screeching halt. Then shots ring out. LAPD described a rolling gun battle with an armed man firing at officers before crashing a stolen car into a light post, then running into the Trader Joe's on Hyperion Avenue in Silver Lake. And throughout all this, the cops were shooting at him before, during, and then he went out of view and there were cops on foot chasing him. About 40 people were inside the neighborhood market when the suspect burst through the doors amid a hail of gunfire. <laughs> Some ran from the store or dove for cover. Others escaped by climbing out of windows. SWAT teams surrounded the building. Shortly after 3 o'clock, I was working in the back room, heard screaming and gunfire. Sean Geraci grabbed several co-workers and ran to a back storage area where he knew he could get out using an escape ladder. I tried to barricade the hallway as best I could, waited till got the attention of a SWAT officer who gave me a thumbs up as far as going down the ladder. The suspect allegedly barricaded himself, taking dozens of people hostage. In the chaos, one woman is shot and killed. She's been identified as 27-year-old Melida Corrado, a store manager who'd been with the company for about four years. The violence began around 1.30 Saturday afternoon when the suspect allegedly got into a heated dispute with his grandmother in South LA. Police say he shot her several times and wounded another woman before stealing a car and leading officers on a pursuit. LAPD has identified him as 28-year-old Gene Evan Atkins. After a three-hour standoff, police say Atkins surrendered. He's been arrested on suspicion of murder. His bail set at $2 million. Melida Corrado, her friends called her Melly, and so much of their heartache is summed up on the handwritten notes you see at this growing memorial. One note reads, Dearest Melly, your spirit lives forever in our hearts. We love you. We will have more on this story as it develops. For now, reporting live in Silver Lake, I'm John Finolio. Court Rick, I'll send it back to you.